YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I missed you so much. Hi, I hope you you all are doing good and I'm doing perfectly fine. This video is highly highly requested by few of my subscribers and my other uh, known people also. This video is about all the FAQs and all the queries and questions you have about MBBS in Egypt, like everything, everything. What I remember. I have not penned it down in a piece of paper because there were too many questions so I cannot remember all of them so I noted it down and uh, there are like you know topics one topic we are going to talk about and then we are going to go to the other one so yes without any further ado let's get started first question of the video name of my university my university name is uh, Inshams University how I came here? I came here by some agent or I came here by myself? The answer is I came by an agent, agency because like me, my family, we never went outside or you know it was not planned to come here. My coming here was very very sudden. So we came by an agent. You can even come by yourself. How do you get admission? See there are certain criteria that you have to follow up that if you are eligible for admission and the procedure so the two things one is the criteria and the other one is the admission procedure so we are going to talk about the criteria first like what is the criteria firstly need should be cleared yes you heard it right need should be cleared it was the query for many people like are we supposed to clear the need yes you are supposed to do that second thing minimum minimum and 12 boards with physics chemistry bio and including english the science subject you are supposed to have minimum minimum 80% I don't know about others, I'm talking about myself I got admission on that basis only Yes, there are some people that took admission whose percentage was b below that also but I don't know about that but yes, mine was on basis of that And now we'll talk about the admission procedure See, there is a association called Wafadeen which uh, look uh, for the students who pursue MBBS and uh, all the other stuff so there is a Facebook page for this Wafadeen uh, and study in Egypt. Uh, that link will be there in the description. There will be all the updates for the admission and the admission form. If you want to come by yourself, there is an admission form and uh, the Facebook page for the Wafadeen. There are all the updates and the procedures how you have to go through. So the link for the Facebook page of Wafadeen and the admission form will be down in the description box. Don't forget to check that out. So after you have filled the form and you have attached all the needed documents whatever they are asking in the form So after getting the admission form what you are supposed to do There is a time span for a week or so you are supposed to submit your documents And all the documents should be original None should be uh, artificial or the photocopy Your 10th and your 12th scorecard Your need scorecard And uh, your birth certificate Your passport photocopy Your picture and all these things will be written then down on the application that you have received you have to submit there and after that you will receive the confirmation that yes your admission has been done and now you are eligible to come after that your visa will be applied and yes you are good to go after your visa welcome and one more thing those who want a help for the admission process for age specifically I am saying there is an association which is known as Association for International Medical Students, AIMS, not the Indian AIMS, the separate AIMS, A-I-M-S. There are uh, facilities like uh, separate sections where you can go and ask for help, like for admission, for your accommodation here, for activities and various things. It's an um, association to help inter international students get their way easy through the medical journey. The link will be there in the description, do check it out. and. Uh, Yes, I'm so sure that everyone like in the association will try to help you if you are actually genuinely seeking to get admission in Inchems. Why I chose Inchems? I chose Inchems as compared to other uh, universities because of the university ranking and the teaching procedure. What gained my more attention was the university rank and the current university rank will be there somewhere here. You can check it out my reason to take admission. Next thing is the fees. So the first thing that you have to know this university only accepts fees in dollar currency. None other currency is accepted. The fees brochure will be uh, there. I'll put it here. You can see it for every year basically but I'll even explain to you. So for first year the fees is uh, 
seven thousand five hundred dollars three thousand for first semester three thousand for second semester and that concludes six thousand and one thousand five hundred dollars for the admission registration and all that thing and from second year onwards every year you have to submit six thousand dollars for the first year only it's seven thousand five hundred and there is like seventeen hundred eighteen hundred pounds egyptian pounds that you have to submit also that is also the same that you have to submit every year and the current exchange rate for the us dollars and the egyptian pounds will be here you can see that uh, that being said for the fees now we move on to the duration of the course obviously 5 years it's a uh, 3 plus 2 curriculum like 3 years pre clerkship phase and uh, 2 years that is fourth and fifth year is the clerkship phase what is pre clerkship phase where you are taught the theory and the practicals whereas the clerkship phase is the doctor patient interaction and you are going to the hospital you are interacting with the patients and all that is fourth and fifth year course structure so here in ancients we go according to the modules if i uh, take a comparison with respect to india in india we take modules like anatomy whole anatomy will be taught to you in the first year and then whole uh, biochemistry and something like that but here it's not like that like firstly the introduction will be given to you in the first year itself ke separate separate subjects ke introduction and then after that from second year onwards you will be having proper modules like as we take git and you uh, urogenital and respiratory cbs and all that and if i take module example git the anatomy will be there histology physiology biochemistry infection and everything for the git that is uh, gastrointestinal tract will be there in that same module you don't have to learn the anatomy separate and all these things separate which personally i prefer more because if you're going to study a subject and if all the things are within that module it makes easy for you to understand and correlate the topics and learn that's my perception like what i think is easy for the students rather than you know like studying whole anatomy separate and then whole physiology separate and when you're going to study the actual uh, the organ the anatomy you studied for that organ you'll crumble up in the mind so that is a plus point next coming to exam pattern here we have three exams first is uh, assessment second is practical third is final so for assessment if we talk about it's only and purely mcqs no subjectives and for practicals you have two one is a computerized exam and the other one is the morg or the practical uh, in the lab exam the computerized is you will be provided with the pdfs so you have to learn that pdf and in the computer you will log in your id and you will be getting a student id by the university you will log in from that id and then there will be mcqs like tick the mark again you have to choose one out of the all yes easy and uh, if you talk about the lab thing you will be having separate lab sessions in lab sessions what you taught in the lab you will you're going to be examined on the basis of that so you have to perform and the third thing we come on the finals finals have two portions one is subjective and one is objective objective contains uh, 60% of the whole theory exam and uh, subjective is 40% so it's 60 40 subjectives as you know you have to write it on objectives mcqs easy internship after new nmc rules this is also a very frequently asked question so for that it's 2 uh, years of internship for all the students that they're going to uh, take admission this year like the new students one it is mandatory for you to do one year internship from the country you are pursuing mbbs in english language no other language will be accepted point to be noted so one year mandatory from the place you are doing mbbs and second you are supposed to do in india so one year from uh, the country you are doing mbbs second is from the india so total two years of internship language of studies we are taught in english here totally totally in english do you have to qualify neat yes i gave the answer for this already yes you have to qualify neat are we taught arabic here by the university no there are no as such uh, courses uh, to learn arabic but yes separately you can learn it will be helpful for you for the daily interaction with the local public because here people know very less english so yes it's beneficial if you learn arabic separately but no we are not taught by the university does the college prepare us for the usmle or pleb the answer is unfortunately no uh, the college itself doesn't provide you the coachings but as being said earlier again separate usmle 
classes are being held that you can uh, attend by paying some i think 500 to 1000 dollars and then yes you can uh, have that have those coachings but specifically by the university no you're not prepared for usmle or cleb coming to the subjects study pattern we go according to modules but first year you will be having introduction for every subject that each each subject what is each subject and from second year you will be having specific modules to be very precise from the second semester last you will be having modules so if we go deep into the subjects you want to know so first semester we have anatomy and embryology anatomy and embryology is considered as one physiology histology biochemistry immunology these are the main subjects and we also have side subjects that is computer and english presentation skills and ssc you must be wondering what ssc is it's a kind of a language subject for example french spanish there are multiple options that you can uh, choose one from for the second semester we have pathology pharmacology infection and locomotor locomotor you have uh, two parts locomotor normal and the clinical locomotor so as i said from the second semester last you will be having modules so locomotor is a module currency currency i told you it's uh, egyptian pounds exchange rate was shown to you previously only next coming to holidays we talk about middle of the semester no you won't be having any holidays first year you will be having uh, lectures continuously every day from the second year it will be intermediate lectures like some day you have some day you don't so it uh, totally depends on your schedule what your schedule is uh, but if we talk about the inter semester holidays till semester 1 is ending and uh, and before the beginning of semester 2 you will be having uh, approx 2 weeks of the holidays so yes and after the end of the year you will be having minimum minimum 2 months of break Uh, during that time all the international students can travel back to their country accommodation like what are the accommodations i live in a flat or like you can take flat hostels yes uh, the one plus point for inshams inshams provide you hostel facilities for boys and for girls as well but uh, me personally i was not comfortable in the university hostel so i am uh, staying in a private hostel that's a separate thing you can even go for flats many students are staying in flats also and that's also a good option monthly expense this is a skeptical topic it depends on you it totally totally depends on you that if you are a spend theft or you have a control on your spending on an average that varies from 2000 uh, egyptian pounds to 3000 egyptian pounds per month taking a uh, hostel fees and everything separate only for your expenses is 2000 to 3000 pounds some students can manage under 2000 pounds also but some uh, who don't know how to cook and they prefer ordering more so they go till 5000 also so it totally depends on you what kind of person you are next comes on the food to be very very honest i'll speak for vegetarians first for vegetarians it's a little bit hard to survive if you don't know how to cook because here 90% of the food is a non veg for vegetarians there are very very limited options so it would be better if you know how to cook then it would be very very easy for you but yes to be very very honest if you have to survive proper on a protein diet and all you somehow have to start not eating non veg not now but maybe later so yes that's a kind of a low thing for vegetarians but yes if you know how to cook then it's a thumbs up so moving on to, uh, to our last question is the schedule for us little bit free or hectic like if you are taking mbbs pursuing mbbs you won't be having time for chit chat for roaming and here and there you have to make your mind make up your mind for that but yes if you go according to that approach that you complete the syllabus that has been taught today and you complete it during that time itself and after coming you just have to revise so for that if you go through that approach then yes definitely you have pretty much time to go out and on but yes you sometimes you get time but sometimes it's a very very packed schedule all the questions i have answered which i remembered and i noted down from all your uh, views and all and any more questions will be appreciated do let me know in the comment section if you have more questions i'll try to answer all of them i think that's it for the video i tried uh, from my, my uh, from my side very best to provide you minute minute details also which i can give that will be helpful for the students 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू चेक द फेसबुक पेज फॉर द वफा दीन द एडमिशन लिंक एंड द लिंक फॉर द एसोसिएशन एम्स दैट विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल लाइक इट्स अ वेरी वेरी बिग थम्स अप फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव टेकन दैट इनिशिएटिव टू हेल्प अदर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एडमिशन फॉर अकोमोडेशन एंड एवरीथिंग तो आई होप यू लाइक दैट एंड यू गॉट इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉट यू वर लुकिंग फॉर इफ यू गॉट गिव a thumbs up please share this video with your other friends so if they are looking for an option to pursue mbbs abroad they might even look for egypt and you know the drill do like share comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notified every time i upload a brand new video and uh, more such updates for egypt so i'll catch you all on my next video till then stay happy keep smiling do good deeds and yes Love you all. Bye.